overview of my Bridgerton inspired room. So if you want to see how I transformed my room and what I added, then just keep on watching. So right on over here, it totally looks so different. I love how this came out. I just have a bunch of throw pillows that I had and I didn't purchase anything new in this video. This is just everything that I had that was inspired by Bridgerton. Um, as well as this dress, I just had to add it to the whole aesthetic. It's totally Bridgerton theme and it looks like the dress. It always reminded me of Wendy Darling, but it totally reminds me of Bridgerton now. Um, also, I have this gold vintage dress over here. I think it really adds to the whole aesthetic. And Bridgerton was taking place in the 1800s. But yeah, obviously I don't have like everything from the 1800s, but this is just my version of it with what I had. So over here I just have this mirror and I love how the roses are like peeking through. This would be such a cute photo. And then I have my gold wall sconce over here. I really love this. This is just a closer look at the pillows and this comforter is from my mom. She purchased this a long time ago. It's actually like a king, or like a queen or something like that, but I ended up like shoving it back there. It's just like, I just totally thought it reminded me of Bridgerton and it totally does. So I have these little wall sconces over here. I thrifted these a while back. I think they really add to the whole theme. And then up here I got some little knick-knacky decorations, floral arrangements. And then down here I have my storage bench as well as a vintage nightgown. Definitely adds to the whole theme. I love vintage nightgowns. And then I just had to put this Princess Rules little canvas here. I got this from Burlington Co Factory. And down here I just have a carousel and some slippers. I just left this here from the last room tour. And then over here I just added this floral gold frame. I had this from my mom and I just thought it really added to the theme. And then over here, I just have some vintage hats hung up on the wall, as well as this mirror. This is my favorite mirror that I thrifted. Um, there is no brand on it, but it's super cute, and the detailing is just amazing. And then I have this little DIY fan that I made. It totally reminds me of like Marie Antoinette as well. And then I have this little DIY decoration that I made, as well as this, and it's available in my shop. So... Yeah, I really love how this looks. I can't wait to take photos of this. Moving down here, I just think this is so cute. I used my little Cinderella like DIY bucket over here. I thought it really added to the theme as well. And of course, I had to add the little cake stand with the fake cake. It totally reminds me of like Marie Antoinette, but I feel like it could mix in with the Bridgerton theme. Down here, I just have this celebration of love book and then over here i have a vintage nightgown and some vintage gloves as well as a little picture frame in the back this is my vanity i really love the whole gold theme it's totally bridgerton inspired and here's my dresser and one of the drawers is actually like acting up and it's not going completely in all the way i'm not sure why and then over here this is my little vanity tray i got this from a yard sale and i really think that it goes with the whole theme and i have my little vintage little puffer thingy, I don't know, like a poof. And I have some perfumes. They're not all vintage, but it's totally so cute, so I just had to do it. And then I just added some pops of floral on the vanity tray. And then over here, I just have my cream of roses thing that I made a while back, as well as this feather pen totally adds to the whole aesthetic. Feathers are a big thing in Bridgerton. I just have my lamp, super cute. And over here I have my Sweet Pea Madeline's Yankee Candle. I really didn't have much candles to choose from, but I thought this would go with the theme. And then I just have a perfume on display, as well as over here I have this really intricate bowl, and it's just super cute and floral and so ready for spring, and I just added a pop of some pearls in there. Then over here, I really love how this came out. I just have my ballerina kind of style vintage frame up there. I really love this storage box. It's floral and it has some writing on it. It's very like shabby chic, but also like kind of royal looking. And then I have this little bouquet on top. Over here, I just have this little jewelry box, a teacup, and a little doily placemat. And then down here, I just have this water pitcher, like pour thingy, I'm not sure, if I, th I think it's called a pitcher. And then I have a pop of floral arrangements with some butterflies. Down here, I have these really vintage gold topped salt and pepper shakers. I think they're so cute. And then I have a little milk glass container in the back. 
Right on down here I have some knickknacks, very floral and spring inspired, as well as this gold frame. So right on over here, I just added some fake pastries as well as some teacups and they actually have candles in them so I could possibly light it but I wouldn't leave it like where the shelf is because I don't want anything to burn, especially the gloves. Um, but I also added a feather boa which is from the Dollar Tree and I glued some floral arrangements. Like you could just glue any type of flower on there and it would look really, really glam and good. And then down here, I added some pearls and ribbons. Those are big in Bridgerton, as well as feathers. And then I have some flowers in like a shape of a heart down there, as well as a gold and white container. And then right on over here, I just have some vintage purses. Obviously, I had to put the gold one in there, as well as a floral purse. I have a little floral and pearl and feather hair accessory type thing, like a little hat if you want to say. And then down here I just have some vintage shoes and I'm going to give you guys a closer look at these. So cute. And then I just have the rest of my shoes down here. I didn't really have many vintage shoes to choose from. And then also down here, I added this Juliet rug, and this is from Macy's. I got this on sale, it's about $100, but it's super cute, and it adds to the whole royal theme. I love the floral print, and the shade of pink that it is, it's so gorgeous. So obviously in the 1800s, they didn't have an Apple desktop computer, or a nice impressions of vanity so I tried to cover it as best as I could I use these curtains and they like totally tie in with the theme and I also put this tray down and this is actually a mirror that I painted pink and then I just use this little container and put pearls in it as well as this candle holder I totally seen something like this in the TV show so I really love how this came out let me know in the comments down below if you guys did too don't forget to give it a big thumbs up make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos Videos. and also don't forget to follow me on all of my social media everything will be linked down below as usual and I will see you guys in my next lovely video